Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to install and configure DNS in Windows Server 2012 by searching semi powered by tech.pdcrash.com Ok, this is a Windows Server 2012 machine. Let's log on with administrative rights. Once you log on to a server, the server manager will automatically open. Let's close the server manager and check out the few things before we start. Okay, let's open the Internet Explorer. On the Internet Explorer, I will open the website which is tech.pdcrash.com tech.pdcrash.com is a public website as you can see here I will close this and let's see when I ping what happens when I will ping tech.pdcrash.com it will ping the global IP address let's type down tech Okay, as you can see, it is pinging the global IP address of the website. Now let's go back to the server manager to configure the DNS. Okay, on the server manager, let's click on add roles and feature. Okay, you can open it here from here or you can also open it from here. On the add roles and features wizard, I will click next. I will select the first option and click next and this is a local server so I will select the local server and I will click next here I will select the DNS server as you can see here I will install additional features add features ok here as you can see I do not require any additional features so I will just click next and there is information is given I will just click next and click on the target button which will restart the destination system if required and then I will click on install now installation process will take a few minutes now it is showing installation succe succeeded as you can see here let's close this and here you can see on the DNS services the DNS services is running oh, here it is here you can see the DNS service is running now just let me close this one here on the tools you will see DNS configuration manager this is the DNS manager ok here you can configure a DNS let me close this ok first I will configure a forward lookup zone ok here is it here I will click on new zone from new zone I will click on next I will select primary zone and I will type down the DNS name which I want to configure that will be petercrys.com that is p-e-t-e-r-c-r-y-s dot com ok I will click on next and select the first option I will click next and from here I will select the second option which is allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates I will click next and finish from here I will click on pdcrash.com as you can see here the new folder has been created now I will click on new a record this is a host record new host record now here I will type down tech now as you can see here a fully qualified domain name which is tech.pdcrash.com here I will type down the IP address of the server Oops, sorry, this is not the one. 
okay the IP address is 192 okay one minute that is 192.168.1.100 Okay, let me add this. It will show me some warning because the PDR is not generated right now. Let me cl click OK. Now I will click on Done, and then I will go on to the Reverse Lookup Zone. Here I will click on New Zone, and then a Primary Zone I will select. From here I will select the first option, and click Next. Here I will type down the network ID, which is 192.168.1. Sorry, one. Yeah. Then I will click Next. As you can see here, now, yeah, yeah. Now let me click next. I will select the second option as usual, secure and non-secure dynamic update, and here I will click finish. <coughs> okay, as you can see here, I will generating a new PTR. There is a pointer. Sorry, was up zone. Okay, now click. Here I selected the tech and now here you can see tech.pdcrash.com. I will click on OK. Now as you can see here 192.168.10 and it's pointing to tech.pdcrash.com. Now let's run the NS lookup command. I will type tech.pdcrash.com and let's see what happens. As you can see here when I type down the tech.pdcrash.com it shows me the address of 192.168.1.100 <coughs> so let me see if I can enlarge it Oop, that's not the option selected wrong option anyways that's not necessary right now as you can see here let me close this and this one too <coughs> let's minimize it okay now let's open the Internet Explorer and let's see what happens okay on the Internet Explorer let's type on the tech.pdcrash.com and let's see what happens okay okay as you can see when I type on tech.pdcrash.com the public website has been opened but I wanted to open a local website not the public one let's ping the website and check it out what happens again Okay, tech.pdcrash.com minus t, and as you can see, it is picking the IP address of a public website. Now let's minimize this one, and let's go to the LAN. That is the TCP/IP configuration. Now let's go to Ethernet on properties on TCP/IP 4 version 4. Now here on advanced, on the advanced tab, I will click on DNS. On DNS, I will click on add. I will click type down the IP address of the DNS server which is my local IP that is 192.168.1.100 and I will move that IP address on the top okay let's see when I ping now what happens as you can see it is pinging 192.168.1.100 let's close this and let's again refresh it and see what happens as you can see it is still opening the public website let me clear the cookies and the cache okay let's read all the history and cache I'll click on apply I will click OK and let's close down the browser and open it again okay let's open Internet Explorer again and uh, let's type down tech.pdcrash.com okay, dot p e t e r c r y s dot com and as you can see here now the local website has been opened this website has been configured by default on is which is opening right now so let's open the server manager and let's check it out the IS okay as you can see here the IS has been installed already 
which we have told you how to install it on our previous tutorial on the default website if I click on browse you will see the local website has been opened let me check it out okay let's open the Internet Explorer here let me close this one as you can hear see here localhost this website has been configured by default on IS let me click OK ok let's close this and let's close this one too and this one too ok now I have configured a DNS on this server and I am able to open a internal website a local internal website now let's check it out the internet explorer and let's serve the internet do I am able to open the Google yes I can also serve the internet and I can also serve the local website with the name now let's type the Sachin Sami that is my name and check it out what happens and here you can see my site that is tech.pirkhead.com and also the YouTube links that is Sachin Sami by YouTube well okay now let's go to the client machine and let's try to access the website using a local DNS let's log this log off this system okay just wait for a moment okay this is a client machine which is in our local LAN now let's try to open tech.pizzasky.com and let's see what happens as you can see the public website has been opened now let's try to ping tech.pizzasky.com the public IP address is pinging now now I want to open the local website and try to ping the local IP address so what I'm going to do is I will go to TCP IP properties IP version 4 and advanced I will click on DNS and I will add the DNS server the local DNS server IP address here I will type down 192.168.1.100 which is a local DNS IP address and I will move this onto the top and I will click on this option that is append this DNS suffix in order I will type down the IP address again and OK and OK and I will click on OK and I will close down and close I will close this too now once again let's try to ping it and as you can see here I'm try I'm able to ping 192.168.100 now let's try to open it that is tech.pdcrest.com as you can see here I am successfully able to open tech.pdcrest.com which is a local website is opening a default website of an IS if you have configured the same configuration at your end and still not able to access the website you might having an issue with the DNS cache you have to run the sys this command to clear the cache and then try this tutorial is presented by tech.pdcrest.com Thank you for watching our this tutorial. This tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami, powered by tech.pdcrash.com.